How's it going, YouTube? It's uh, Turkey Shear. We're back playing Feed the Beast. It's TK41 relaxing. Did you, Hello. did you just hit me? Uh, well, I wasn't relaxing that much, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> I wasn't that relaxed. We're... I am a strong trooper. Yeah. <laughs> We've been using the uh, the outdoor barbecue here. Got some chicken, some chicken for breakfast. There's a creeper coming up the steps. Oh, oh! Got some chicken for breakfast. Some steak. Oh, come here, you son of a bitch! <laughs> Landscaping. Yeah, that's landscaping the tech, uh, not tech, but feed the beast way. Yep, loving up, loving up. Yeah, that's how good we are. I need to go fishing. <clears throat> there we go. I like it. It's a little fishing, yeah. fishing hole. All right, eh? I'm with you. Yeah. Yep. Check it out. Very nice. I have to go to the ocean. No. Okay. All right. So save some time. Today's menu is um mining, I think. Uh, tin, I tin. believe, is for the day. I I need it for brass. You need it for batteries. Yes, my tin batteries. So let's. Not to be confused with the tin lids. Tin boots, if, tin lids. Tin lids, uh, it's, uh, what's his name? Jimmy Barnes and his kids. Uh, tin lids. Group from, yeah. Is that what they're called? Yeah, the tin lids, and they had a whole, like, tin lids Christmas album one year, and it was very, very, very bad. I can imagine. Hmm. Jimmy Barnes is probably not that good at the best of times. No, no. Ah. Uh, I like the farm. Well, yes, uh, need the tin to finish the piping, uh, to make brass to finish the piping to get it going. Transposer's is having a good time. Of course it is. <laughs> oh no, I can't cover that one up. Yep, but there you go. Yep. Cool. Lovely. Rubber plantation. Going well. Yeah. Gotta say, it's been a nice supply of uh, rubber for you. Yeah, I've got some more I need to take off there. But let's go mining. Now, yeah, we need to head down. I've um, made up a bit of a mining base down on level 12. Yes. But I need to take uh, Mr. Turkish too. Because um, I can't teleport. And then you can't teleport, oh. which I'll change in our server settings. But I've got to take him down there first so I can at least make a waypoint. More slimes. I thought these ones had learnt from last time. No, yeah, keep, no, keep spawning. Actually, it's really good that we found this. Oh, slime! There he is. Look at him. Hello. It's, it's good that we found them because they only spawn in certain chunks. Ah. On the map. Awesome. Um, and there is a program you can run if you Google it. I think it's uh, Minecraft slime. Oh, huge one! Look at it. There you go. I've got to make sure we don't don't knock him into the lava. Ah, oh, slime balls galore! Oh, one's jumping into the lava. Let's leave lava. these ones because they don't actually hurt you, and you can carry them around oh. as pets. Ah, let's, ah. <laughs> slime balls! Slime balls! Oh. Oh. Because if they spawn here, then they'll sp it will spawn again. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, there's a thing you can Google. It's a Minecraft uh, slime finder, I think it is. You punch, oh. you punch the seed into it, and it will tell you yep. every chunk where slimes um, will spawn. This is this one up there. Yeah. That's for computer and Xbox as well. If you get the Xbox Minecraft, that you can use it for that as well. Um, right. I think he's blocked in. Yeah. So, yeah, that's, but seeing as we found it, we don't have to go bloody looking for him. Right. It makes life a lot easier. Alright, so uh, let's get to this mining base. 
So you can set your waypoint and then we're we'll search for tin. Yes. And copper. Which is a bit higher than what we're going. Oh! Ow, he's got a sword, a zombie with a sword. It's an angry zombie. Got him and the brain. Oh my god, I can't climb up steps. Alright. That was a given. <laughs> and I said given, not given. Um, silver? Is it? Let's now we've got a mess right there. Yeah, well, uh, yeah. You know, it's all good, it's all good. I'm not sure what you use silver for, though. Ah. It's good, though. I mean, I could, uh, can use it for transmutation. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, uh, lead? No, we don't need lead. Oh, yeah, we've got tons of that stuff. Yeah. I'm sure there's a use for that as well. Up through the waterfall. Now. And then back the other way. The old cavern. The old cavern. Do we mine everything out of here, or probably? Um, a fair bit. Yeah. For the love of there. Um. Yeah, Crikey, where did you... where is? I'm just gonna quickly turn on my waypoint. Um, all right. Um, just to. See where we're going back to game. Alright, so the mining waypoint I'm after is this one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Josh Kabar. Um, oh, no, 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 no. Not that way. <laughs> when you get down here, everything just looks the same. When you get yeah, down to these oh, levels, that's such fun. Uh, oh, Skellington. Oh, <laughs> nearly. No. Other. Oh, and behind us. Oh. Charlie's on our six. Yeah, good work. Alright, yeah, hoon under there through that doorway. It's only 20 odd meters away. You're subsidian. Oh. Yeah. Alright, so, little door frame. Yep. In there you go. Woohoo! Make, make a waypoint in here. Um, and base one. Um, so, you know. It's B to set a waypoint by default. Yeah, or just you know press your M and, oh, uh, and, then and do it. There. Anyway, um, also you'll notice if you if you download the Yogcraft server and and standard uh, mod pack, if you do the M um, and you do waypoints. Uh, you can obviously teleport to them if you've got the right um, rights. Yeah, the right rights. But you can also uh, in-game waypoints. You can either do um, just the old um, signs, which uh, you know would say, "Oh, it's this way," but or you can do the huge. Um, Columns of light in the, in the same color, which will transverse from the top of the world to the bottom of the world. Yeah. yeah. Um, or you can do both. So I mean that helps. Makes it a bit easier to see. Yeah, and you know I mean, and you can always turn them off if if you don't want all these columns of light uh, in your way. Beaming around. Yeah. All right. So now we're down here and um, tin and copper. I guess. I oh, some rubies over there, though. Rubies and cinnabar. Cinnabar. Oh, cinnabar. Where are you going to run to? Oh, shit. You know, I'll leave you alone for five seconds. I'm cursed. Cursed at the moment. Cursed. Um. Of course, I don't have any cobblestone on me. Okay, back at base, more cobblestone than you can poke a very, very, very large stick oh, out. Yeah. Down here in the mines. Fuck all. Fuck all. 
Now, I was watching a fairly low budget movie the other night. Um, yeah. Called The Hobbit. Oh, Skellington. Right. Yes, yes, yes. The old Hobbit. The old. Uh... The old unexpected journey. Yes. Um, and when I went to see it at the cinema, yeah, we were unfortunate enough to see it in 3D. Uh, that'd be you and your your good lady friend. Yes, the lady friend. Yeah. Um, and I have to say, in in 3D. Yeah. It's pretty terrible, really. Well, I... oh, oh, I'm not a fan of 3D movies. Full stop. Yeah, I'm. I'm not a fan of the this new 3D where it makes the screen seem deeper. Whereas when I was younger, 3D movies uh, popped out at you. Yeah. Um, like one of the first really influential 3D movies I ever saw that you know marked me for life was Jaws, Jaws Three yeah. in 3D. And Jaws came out of the screen and can chomped you. <laughs> and it didn't matter where you sat in the movie theatre, it can chomped you. Yeah. Mind you, also in those days you could smoke in movie theatres, and that was kind of cool, even though I was far too young for that. But <laughs> That's even before my time. Yeah. Oh, that, was, that was before you were even a glint in the milkman's eye. <laughs> But what what irks me about the old um, oh yes get the shards, um, what irks me about the new Hobbit is the um, Lord of the Rings book mm. is is quite significant. Oh. Uh, the Hobbit book not so significant, but they're still doing it over three movies. Well, of course. And uh, how how are they going to make all their money? Yeah, those New Zealanders need to be paid for. <laughs> Yeah. Having Hobbiton for some, yeah. There was a big thing about that, wasn't there? Yeah. They weren't going to get, they weren't going to pay him or something. Yeah. Like, you know, but. Oh, well. Yeah. But yeah, I'm not a fan of what I don't. The 3D movies nowadays is yeah. Everything in the foreground is in focus. Everything in the background is blurred to the point where you can't see it. Yeah. So it makes you focus yep. on on what's happening when you can't see what's happening in the background. Like when we I watched where we went and uh, got it on Blu-ray last night, The Hobbit, and we yep. were watching it. And in two D, it's just so much better. Fucking creepers! Oh, there's no one down down yonder. Yeah. Oh, all this lapis is just going straight into the lava, and I'm just dropped down, and I'm in trouble. I know he hasn't seen me, and I can pick up the lapis. Sorry. Oh! Holy oh. shit! Crikey. What can I say, except for whoops. And I can see that you're on 7 out of 20 health. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, yeah. Thanks to the Yogcraft. <laughs> yep. Oh, uh, no, well, the, the uh, health isn't... It's supposed to be standard with the Yogcraft oh, uh, pack, but it isn't. Um, I've just come oh, to join you. Alright, yeah. I mean, the uh, mining base is down here, but... Uh, yeah, it, I mean, I, I can understand the use of the 3D with the whole uh, foreground in focus, background blurred... The, there are so many applications or uses that a director could do to use that in a uh, artistic way, or you know, in a storytelling. Ow! Far out. What is going on? I'm just getting bombed by. I didn't even see that one until it hit me. Um. Now I'm trying to place a block, and it's just not placing. Maybe knows I should be dead. Maybe I need to talk to Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis. How he sees dead people. Um, <laughs> no, I can understand or or see the use of 
the whole uh, 3D thing in focus, out of focus, you know, in some applications of, you know, artistic merit. Yeah. Um, to make something look cool or to prove a point. But it, for me, um, and you look at 3D computer games, it's like uh, Batman Arkham City, great game. Loved the fact that it was 3D for the fact that it did make uh, things far away look deeper into the screen. But if I was watching a movie like that yeah. for how long and trying to concentrate, it would do my head in. <laughs> um, but I could see, again, I could see the merit in it every now and then for if if there was a purpose to yeah. it, if there was a reason that uh, sunk needed to be slightly out of focus or slightly uh, behind the scenes but in the scenes yeah. type thing, which they just don't seem to do. Uh, no. But but having said that, that's also true of uh, the the old style three D with the with the with the glasses. Yeah. Um you know, I mean, as I was saying before, the first one I saw was, was Jaws. Uh, in three D. Yeah. You know, and the only reason that was in three D was because yeah, when Jaws yeah, jumped out of the water at you. Jaws jumped out of the water at you. You know, and there was there was that reason for it. And it was and it was good. Yeah, <laughs> uh, that's it. Uh, Oh, I guess it's, it's, you didn't, uh, you know, spend how much money you're going to to the movies and uh, discovering that, uh, you know, that your uh, entertainment value was diminished by it, yeah. you know. Blu-ray would have cost you what, a couple of bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're not very expensive now. It's yeah. good quality, good sound. Um, oh yeah, yeah. My um, surround sound that I've got hooked up to my um, television. Yeah. Blue is a Blu-ray player, and uh, even the difference from DVD to Blu-ray. Yeah. Well, more you, difference. You, you try and explain to people, and they don't believe you. Like, no, nah, it can't be that that much yeah. difference. But there is. Yep. Now, I've got 1910. Oh, have you? You're a good boy, aren't which you? Which is quite handy. It is. But I haven't found any Ooh. copper. No, copper will be higher up. Yeah. Fairly certain. I've got some decent shards. So if I nab some of the shards you got. Yeah, I've oh, that's got three. three. Now, what this this brings me to a point. This 3D. Oh, right. Yes, sorry. That's right. Tangent. 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 Yeah, yeah. That's right. Um, all this talk of the new virtual reality. And the uh, new, which... and now, who was working on that? Was it Google? Uh, which virtual reality for what? Well, I mean, there's the Google Google Glass. Although, although it's not vir virtual reality, that's but it's on its way. The Google Glasses. Have you seen them? Oh no, I haven't. I haven't. I know about the um, Oculus. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Holy shit! Uh, which actually, uh, I don't know if you guys watched uh, or the um, kissing um, the Dawn of War two. Um, video that Turkish put up with Gecko. Gecko is uh, a friend of mine who's a 3D animator and he's uh, taken part of, in the green light that they've done oh, for the Oculus. For fuck's sake. Oh, oh no. You gotta find me. I had so much stuff. And there was creepers uh, yep. fucking everywhere. Yep. No, I've, got, I've got your... Death point. Oh no, that's the mine. Uh, do you know how far away you were from the mining base? No, no idea. Were you? Oh, I've got some. I can't, I can't stuff tell here, what to it. Can you OP me in game? 
Uh, yes, let me just get into the safeness of here. Alright, hold on a sec, I'll be right back. Oh, the server's gonna have to go down. Can you type it in? Can you go, can you OP? Yeah, maybe. Yes. Yep. Try that. Way points. That one. Top or two. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Sorted. Oh, watch out. Yeah. Like. Yeah. That's going to be a problem. I can do it again. No, did you? How many people are there? Well, I'm, I'm coming. Oh, are you down that way? Oh, hang on. I'm lagging. Ah, there you go. Oh, blame it on the lag. I am, I just tell you. Not very ML. Just teleported down here. Holy sh... Holy shit. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm on my way. Oh my god. What is going on here? Okay. This way. All right. Come around the other way. So much lag there. <laughs> yeah. Lag schmag. Oh no, it is pretty heinous. Mm -hmm. No, no, I believe it. No, I believe it. So anyway, um, Gecko. Yes. Friend of ours. Um, is part of the green light for the Oculus system, which they've um, using for uh, a couple of first-person shooters, etc. So the whole old-school virtual reality or old-school native um, glasses now actually being sort of useful. And um, he's still he's contributed to the whole effort and is just waiting to actually receive his, you know, trial copy. Yeah. Of the um, of the Oculus. But he's a bit excited about it. Yeah, I can't. And wait. I mean, if they, if it works, it will be good. Here we go. I heard um, EA's looking at. Uh. The VR for um the right. upcoming Battlefield or Battle of Honor series. Yep, I can I can definitely understand the appeal of it. Um, oh shit! What? Found you, but I'm underneath the lava, and I've got my hot bar is full of useless shit instead of blocks. <laughs> That's right, I finally cleared them all out. I've got I've oh. got the nineteen tin ore. Right. And there's no, now there's a creeper coming for me. Three creepers, four zombies, and now another creeper. It's because you looked at them funny. <clears throat> oh creeper! Ooh, jumped away. Nice work. Well, are they really? just spawning more and more? Or yeah, it must or be. Like... I don't know. I don't think I've fiddled with the settings for that. Because they just seem to be everywhere. Yeah, where are you compared to me? Oh, you're that way. I can't see you though. Oh, there you are, beneath me. Am I? Yep. Trying to put some lava out. But I mean, as, as you know, I'm a big fan of um, well, not only steampunky stuff, as I said in the previous episode, but also. Um, William Gibson stuff, so you know your whole cyberpunky stuff. Yeah, which is another game that comes out this year, which I'm a bit excited about. I'm very excited um, for cyberpunk. Yeah. Um, so I mean, the whole idea of you know 
implants and yada 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 yeah. and you know all that malarkey is just it really does crank my tractor <laughs> crank your tractor yeah oh, hello and I or for you non Aussies that's like it's something that really floats my boat it, it gets my motor humming um <laughs> I mean, the fact that I <clears throat> I have titanium bone lacing um, <laughs> from when I broke my leg, um, I think is really rad because I've got titanium in me. And uh, that was the first first you thing know, you had to do: go to the go to the airport, see if you can set the uh, alarm. Yes, off. yes, yes. Um, <laughs> don't don't try that, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I was told I could get a card saying. Um, Yes, I have titanium in my leg, and uh, I may set off the alarms, and this is why, yada, yada, yada. I never actually received that card. And um, I went to the airport because my or our father was uh, in, the, in the United States at the time of my accident, um, and he came back and went to meet him at the airport. And I was still on crutches, couldn't put any weight on my uh, injured leg at all. Yeah. And, um, yeah, they wanted me to, <clears throat> you know, they wanted to check my shoes for whatever. I mean, here we are in Australia, it's like, you know, it's not the arse end of the world, but it ain't that far off. <laughs> as, I mean, you know, as far as military oh. targets go. Oh, yeah. We've we, we, we everything uh, they want to blow up. Yeah. And um, so there I was in the middle of the airport, um, having to sit down <laughs> and take my shoes off so I could check them. Because and but even before that, they were like, "Oh well, can't you just take your shoes off?" It's like I'm on two crutches. It's obvious I can't <laughs> walk, stand, etc. They were just doing their job, and we love them for oh, it. Oh yeah, yeah, good people. Keeping us safe. Love them. Yes. <clears throat> Found some coal and stuff. Well, <clears throat> I've, got, I've got 1910. Tin. So now we're just after more copper. I think so. Should we head back up higher? I think we should, but we can just do the old teleport now. A, what, to the first base? Just a home. Just a home, yeah. And, and we can... Um, Whack. Whee! There we go. And then, yeah, uh, it's cheating, guys. We know, but you know, it saves a lot of time, effort, issues. All right, straight to the macerator. In goes the tin. Yep. So we just need some more copper, but um, I don't even have a. What's it on a time? I'm just gonna put these shards in here. No shards and no shards. Um. Now, for those of you wondering, all those pickaxes and shovels are for when I'm digging out the top of the base. I had a full inventory full of um, pickaxes and shovels, and that's all I've got left. But... It is coming along quite nicely. Just a nerve pole up here. So, I've still got all that to get rid of. But I'm doing it in sections. So that section's done, this section is almost done, and then I've got the next section, and I think I've probably two more sections, and I'll be done. And this should be have. You should have plenty of light, plenty of solar panels. I'll line this all with solar panels. It'd be marvellous. <clears throat> Which reminds me, we're going to need some diamond uh, diamond fibre cable. Uh, won't well, glass. Yeah, 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 yeah. Glass fibre cable, but it's made with diamonds. Ah, oh, more diamonds. Yeah. Actually, it's, it's night is falling. I'll go searching for copper uh, tomorrow. Yeah, I might call it that. Yeah, why not? 
Let's call it there. There. there here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Oh, over here. Right here. Well, I right think now. that was a bit of a, a bit of a success. Well, you know, uh, sure you died three or four times, but you know, <laughs> if for you that's good. Ah, yeah. Wait, wait till you see. Wait, wait, wait till, till you see. see what I had to go through. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I've been uh, Turkish. I've been TK421. This is being Feed the Beast. And uh, yeah, good night. We'll see you next episode. I'm going to sit on this chair. Ah, uh, watch the sunset. Yeah, oh, it's already beautiful. gone. Watch, watch the, the moonrise. The beautiful moonrise. Yeah. That's a David <laughs> Bowie. So. <I'll> <laughs> Alright, so, Bye. skeletons.